Hello! I hope you can hear me. I have my new microphone plugged into my phone and I haven't used that in a little while so hopefully the audio comes through fine because I am not going to re-record it. It is Sunday so it is a happy sunny sunshiny Sunday and we have um, big plans today mostly for me I have to do a lot of homework I have a project due tomorrow that I am working on so I have that going hopefully I'll get a lot of that done this afternoon ah there's a bee oh my gosh okay we're good now <laughs> oh my god Anyway, back to updates. Um, I have a project due, so I'm working on that. I'm working on homework for class. Um, and my parents, we are having them over here for dinner tonight, and we have our normal D&D &D group. So it's going super well. I'm feeling good, feeling nice and positive. Came out here to film a TikTok, and I just kinda took the time to slow down because that's what I've been trying to do more of enjoying the sunshine, really focusing on what I hear, what I see, those kinds of things to reduce anxiety. And um, it's nice. It is also very hot out here though. So I think I will go on in, in just a minute, but I really just wanted to update you guys and ruminate on like the good things. So I have that going. Um, what else do I need to do? I need to finish off project information for Project Purple. By the time this video is out, you guys will already know what Project Purple is. So if you didn't know, that video should be live on YouTube right now because I'm planning to film it and put it up on Wednesday. So really exciting stuff. I may even get a wild hair and record that today. I don't know, just because I don't know, I just feel like tackling things. I also feel like I look really cute in this shirt, even though I have no makeup on. So maybe I'll go ahead and film that. But um, if you didn't know, I am publishing an omnibus, which is a, it's basically all of the stories in a series in one book. So I am putting the Guardians of the Six Gate series, that trilogy, all in one book. I did the cover myself, which was really exciting. And, I am announcing it on Wednesday. So you guys already know because that video will be out. So let's move on inside. I need to do some stuff with Finn and then get back to tackling my project. Oh, oh my goodness. So I completely forgot about, well, I didn't forget. Let me rephrase. I had a project due next Monday and when I went, I thought I was working ahead. I clicked into the assignment to look at it to start early and I realized the entire presentation that I had to put together was due tonight. And the second part of the assignment, which is just reflecting on other classmates projects is due next week. So the biggest parts due tonight. So I realized it's Saturday, thank goodness. And I, managed to somehow find a lot of resources. I presented on the Marshall Islands. If you don't know anything about the Marshall Islands, you need to look into it because it is a part of US history that is greatly overlooked um, and most people don't know anything about. Did you know that SpongeBob has to do with the atomic bombing right off of Bikini in the Marshall Islands in the Pacific Ocean? Go look it up. It's a thing and I will never be able to watch Spongebob again. <laughs> but anyway, um, I managed to turn a very quick, kind of last minute presentation into an entire 45 minute recorded presentation, including a ton of discussion um, about culture, history, outcomes, medical things. And I managed to do that all in 45 minutes for my class assignment. So I am tired, it is 10 o'clock just about 10 o'clock. I am downloading the official video. I'm gonna do, I'm gonna upload that 
I'm also going to upload the actual slides presentation so people can view my resources and the links and stuff if they want to. And I'm going to go to bed because I have to get up and give a test in the morning at school. And it's been a long night. So it's been a long night. I am going to do that. All right. Thank you, guys. Bye. Uh, it's been a while. It is now Thursday. So, hello. Um, my makeup is a little smudgy because I've been to the chiropractor. I feel so much better. One of my favorite things to do after going to the chiropractor is just to sit in my car in the quiet because, it, because it's so much easier for me to, like, be mindful and slow things down after I've done things like get a massage and go to the chiropractor. So it's like hitting reset and I really needed this this week. So I feel so much better. Um, I don't have a lot of updates from this week because it's been a really slow week actually. Um, yesterday what I did, I did not share with you guys. I um, organized all of my like author notes and all of my business stuff. So I created a brand new system that's going to work a lot better for tracking all of my expenses and my income and all of just the author side of things because that has grown so much that what I was doing before was, I was starting to outgrow it. So I needed a new way to track everything. So that is what I did last night. Today, I need to post and promote. I'm going to an author event on Saturday where I will be selling signed copies of my books. I'm also a reader for that event. So I need to prepare. I need to look at my book um, because I think I'm reading from Curse of Wings and Darkness. And so I need to kind of proofread that a little bit, look through the first chapter. Um, what else? I need to... Um, basically do a lot of prep for the event. Um, I also need to do a ton of work for the omnibus for Guardians of the Six Gates. So I need to um, finish the cover wrap. Actually, I need to proof, that's what I was working on. I need to finish proofing and fi doing final edits on the interior so that I can get an accurate page count to do the book jacket and then also the case laminate for Ingram Spark because I think I've decided I'm going to publish this as a hardcover only. Um, I haven't done a hardcover in a really long time. I want this to be like really specialty, special edition. So I think that's the plan is to do just the hardcover. Um, so I need to do that as well tonight. So lots of little things. I did get invited out to hang out with friends tomorrow and I was going to do that, but I kind of think that I have so much prep work to do that I would be better off spending the evening to myself to do that. So that may be what the rest of the week is. So I may share a little bit of that with you. <sighs> right now, I think I'm going to give myself a few more minutes sitting in the car in the quiet, just soaking in the relaxation and then I need to head home and um, help Alex with Finn and then get on to my evening activities. So that is what we're going to do. Ooh, it's Friday. Work week is over. Um, I may hang out with a friend tonight. Everybody's husbands are busy. So I might go and hang out with a friend. Still haven't fully decided because I have some stuff that I need to work on for um, the author fest this weekend. So tomorrow I have an author event. I am excited. There's going to be like 40 of us. This is in my local town where I grew up. So I go to it every single year. Um, I would like to do more author events. I just don't. I don't know. I don't fully have the time as in like I get home and I don't have a lot of time at home and then the weekends are precious. So I just don't schedule a lot of them. Um, and I'm trying to work with some like other things like maybe do a TikTok shop, do some other 
like versions of that so I can still provide signed books and stuff because I just think it'd be really fun. Um, I don't know, but that is what I have tonight. So I need to get Finn, get home, do something for dinner and we may stay home. I kind of need to see how Finn's, how Finn is too, because he was not very happy this morning. <laughs> um, and then we will see where the end of the day takes us. Maybe not very far. I don't know. Um, the author event doesn't start until one tomorrow. So I have the morning also to prep. I'm also reading my book at this event. So there is a bit of time, um, to prep in the morning, but I would like to get a lot of stuff done before tomorrow. So we will see. Um, don't really have any other updates to give you guys other than I have this event. Um, and I finished proofing the interior of the Guardians of the Six Gate Omnibus. So I'm excited. That's done. Now it is on to the book jacket and the case laminate design, which I'm excited about. So um, I need to put in final page count, get a template so that I can start working on the cover. So huh, that is what, that's pretty much where we are. So that's where we are. All right. So I'm going to go get Finn and go home. <laughs> Saturday. It is really sunny outside. It's a beautiful day. It's just really sunny out here. I'm only partially ready for the day. Today is my local author event. So I will be at a public library. There's going to be like 40 authors this year, which is a gigantic jump from, I think I counted like 11 of us last year. Um, so I'll be selling my books. I get to read from Curse of Wings and Darkness, which is really fun. I need to take a look at that because that is what has me the most nervous because it is a steamier book. It is my first, it's like my debut into new adult, which I'm really excited about, but it's very different. And this is also happens to be the town where I grew up. And so because of that, um, it just is a little nerve wracking. So that's what I'm going to do now is I think we are going to move back inside and I'm going to take a look at what I'm going to read because I'm already packed. I have everything ready to go. I'm ready and I don't have to be there to start set up until noon between 12 and 1230 and it is 930. So I have plenty of time, but I do, I do want to start getting um, prepped as far as the reading portion goes. So I need to do that. I also need to finish getting ready. I don't have makeup on yet. I did give myself a little bit of a blowout this morning with my air, my dryer, but I'm gonna still straighten the like little stray pieces here um, just to like give it better shape. So that is uh, my plan and let's get to it. shouldn't be nervous because this is, let me lower that. There we go. Um, 
this is the third year I've done this event. Um, it's also in the town I grew up in and it's always a lot of fun. I know a lot of the authors that go to this one every year, so I really shouldn't be nervous, but I'm getting like the excited butterflies. Um, so I'm leaving a tad early. I told myself I wouldn't leave until 12. It's almost 12, but I was starting to just like sit around and like tinker with stuff with like no purpose. And so I needed, to, needed something to do. So I'm going to go to the library. I'm going to set up and I'm going to mingle. And I know that will lower my nerves a little bit. And then being there early, if there are already people there, like wandering around before the event starts, I'll be there for that also. So that is the plan. The time went very fast. Um, they were talking, the staff were talking about the event, comparing it to years past. And it didn't even dawn on me that they shortened it this year. It was an hour shorter. So that maybe have been part of it. But <sighs> it was really fun. I met some people. I made some really cool connections. I talked with a web designer, actually, that approached me and basically just started telling me things that I could do website wise, product wise, TikTok shop. That was fun chatting about media and marketing, which is also a part of his background. So, and he's local and he seemed really cool. So I'm definitely going to reach out to him, see more about what he thinks, other ideas he has. I think it'd be really fun to work with him. So oh, that was a really good time. Uh, I enjoyed it a lot. Um, and I did really well. I did sell lots of books. So I feel good. I can't wait to get home. <laughs> I'm ready to be home and spend the Saturday evening with Alex and with Finn. And um, yeah, and then on to things for this next week. I need to plan out a lot. Um, I have a doctor's appointment next week. I think I'm going to take a personal day just because the timing with that one doesn't really work out super great. And so I think I'm going to take the day um, and just do like get ahead on homework and stuff also. So we will see what the rest of the weekend has in store because it's only Saturday. Um, yeah, really fun. This is always a fun event. I love attending this every year and plan to attend in the future. It's always fun. So, um, yeah, let's, <laughs> now I'm just rambling. Let's go do fun Saturday things. <laughs> For a very long time because I actually haven't been up very long um, and I have not started on any of my normal Sunday chores so I have laundry I have dishes to do I have a house to clean um, <laughs> lots of things to do today that have not happened because I woke up late but I think I needed the rest so I'm not really all that sad I also think you can kind of hear it. I think I'm losing my voice. Um, so that's great. <laughs> so um, I'm going to get fed up and we I'm going to get started on chores and stuff. And um, yeah, I probably won't <laughs> have a lot more to share with you guys, but we will see. Um, I would kind of like to talk a little, like get organized and talk a little more about what I'm planning on doing this week. So maybe we'll come back in a bit and I'll share more with you guys. But for now, I'm gonna go inside and get fin up and get started on all the things I need to do. Woo, okay, 
I have laundry going. Dishes are also mostly done. I have some to hand wash, but that's okay. And I have coffee. So I am going to leave you guys and I am going to sit down and work on some final stuff from yesterday. I need to put the last of my stock up on my shelf. Also, I need to clear that out. So thank you guys for watching. I know I haven't been super great at posting. I've missed a lot of the Wednesday uploads just because I've been so busy. So I am so sorry. I promise that things will even out a little bit, um, especially as we get closer to the summer months. Things always do around that time. So thank you guys just for being so patient and uh, nice and for all of your nice comments. I love you guys very much. So that's pretty much it for me this week. Thank you guys for watching. Um, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.